y'all welcome welcome back to all my current subscribers if you're not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Lakeisha Inspires family today is May 6th 2021 according to the Gregorian calendar and I wanted to bring you guys some breaking in times news headlines and this is all the news that they don't want us to know about so let's jump into it America runs low on chicken, blames surging demand and labor shortages. And this reminds me of a couple of weeks ago when I ordered some um, brown bag. They, um, the food was super, the, the chicken was super, super dry. And I ended up calling them and making a complaint. And they told me they would remake them. And the reason why they were so dry was because um, they weren't able to get their regular chicken wings that they normally get. So they had overcooked them. So, yeah, you guys, we, Florida set to release swarms of GMO mosquitoes as residents decry criminal experiment by Bill Gates Specs Biotech. And this article goes to say, um, they're going to set, the first plan is to set the uh, mosquito boxes outside of six locations over 12 weeks. And that will then release 144,000 of these mosquitoes. And they're most closely linked with transmitting illnesses such as Zika and yellow fever. Israeli opposition leader Yair Lapid gains chance to form governments. And they're going to give him um, four weeks as they did with Netanyahu. And if he fails to form a government, um, the president could open the process to any member of the Knesset or call for Israel's fifth election since the spring of 2019 which um, I don't think that's going to happen according to Rabbi Kadori and Shoshani's prophecy. And um, we know that uh, 80%, about 80% of their prophecy has come to pass. And I know that once prophecy, one, once someone's prophecy comes to pass, if one part of it comes to pass, the whole prophecy is going to come to pass. So that's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. And then this, this is a wireless company. I was scrolling down um, YouTube one day and I was like, what? It really caught my attention because I'm like, this is looking real serious. <laughs> so it says Satan, new employee, big wireless. This is someone's, this is a um, wireless carrier, you guys. And this is their commercial. Like, it's just everything in this world is a lie. <laughs> everything. This is the wireless company's commercial. And this is the wireless company. These people right here. These people. And then we have uh, the concert to reunite the world. And by the way, you guys, um, <clears throat> If you feel led by Holy Spirit to support the channel as I receive no compensation for any of my videos and that is by choice as I choose to trust that God will send people to the channel that do not mind supporting. With that, any and all of your support is greatly appreciated. Um, you can do so via GoFundMe, PayPal, or Cash App. The links are in the description box below this video. And like I tell you guys all the time, take these articles do your own research and take these things to the Lord for your own confirmations. Okay. And, um, like I was saying, there's a concert to reunite the world here, a concert. And this is the list of all these people that's supposed to be attending this event along with, um, macaroon. Interesting stuff, you guys. 
Then we have California releasing 63,000 violent felons back onto the streets in an effort to create safer prisons. Um, of those who are set to be released, nearly 20,000 are serving life sentences. Another 10,000 inmates were convicted for serious nonviolent offenses who have served half of their initial sentence. Um, this is pretty interesting. We have put in preparing to launch a new carrying submarine capable of wiping out. You guys see the headline right there? You see it right here. I read it right. It goes to say, um, uh, the report details that the launch of the Kazan sub is part of a long running campaign by Vladimir Putin to modernize Russia's armed forces and comes during the high tensions between Russia and the West. Um, it was some other stuff. Oh, yeah, Putin also held the March 8th Zircon as truly unparalleled and has been described as his missile of choice to target American cities in the event of a nuclear conflict. Hmm. Go check the article out, you guys. So, um, that's all I have for now. Well, as always, I love you guys, and remember, it's God loves you more. Until next time, stay blessed, and shalom.